Title. The Shadow of the Old Amusement Park. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting eerie shadows across the remnants of Grinny World, an abandoned amusement park that had once brimmed with laughter and joy. Now, its rusting rides creaked ominously in the wind, and the vibrant colors of the painted characters had faded into terrifying hues. To the locals, it was a forbidden place, whispered about in hushed voices, especially among the teenagers. Emma and her group of friends, Will, Mia, and Jake, stood by the cracked entrance, their hearts racing with excitement and fear. Rumors had spread like wildfire about missing mascots from the park, characters known for their jolly antics and oversized smiles. Children had reported seeing them wander the streets at night, their once cheerful faces twisted into something monstrous. Come on, Will urged, his voice barely above a whisper. We can't back out now. It's just an old park. Maybe it's haunted, Jake joked, trying to lighten the mood, but Emma felt the tight knot of dread in her stomach tighten. They crept inside, the air thick with the scent of mildew and old popcorn. As the sun disappeared completely, the park took on a sinister glow from the flickering streetlights. Shadows danced along the walls of paint-chipped attractions, and every creak of the old structures echoed ominously in the darkness. Look, over there, Mia pointed to the Ferris wheel, where old stuffed mascots hung limply within the gondolas, their eyes dark and sunken. Let's check it out, Emma said, her voice trembling slightly. She felt an odd compulsion to see the beloved characters that filled her childhood with joy. As they approached, the atmosphere thickened with tension. The wind howled, and suddenly, they heard a rustling noise, followed by a soft, yet unsettling giggle. The group froze, their hearts pounding. Did you hear that? Mia asked, wide-eyed. Then from the shadows, a tall figure lurked, a mascot, once vibrant and cute, now grotesquely distorted. Its grin was too wide, its eyes too hollow. It shambled forward on mismatched limbs, and in that moment, the cheerful costume emanated a malevolent energy. It can't be real, Jake stammered, stepping back. It's just a costume, but the mascot took another step, and its puppet-like movements became more fluid and terrifying. Suddenly, other figures began to emerge from the darkness, Clara the Clown, and Ringo the Rabbit, their forms contorted and deformed. They were moving on their own, their once innocent personas now warped into something nightmarish. Run, Emma screamed, and they turned, sprinting towards the entrance. The mascot's cackles echoed behind them like a chorus of madness. The joyful laughter of children was transformed into an unsettling cacophony, fueling the terror that surged through the friends. Every shadow seemed alive, every corner an invitation to dark, twisted madness. They raced towards the towering gates, but Emma stumbled, falling to the pavement. Will quickly turned back to help her, but a chilling grasp caught his arm, a clawed hand painted as a cartoonish glove now dripping with malice. Will, Emma screamed as he was pulled back, his terrified face sliding into the darkness. No, get away from him, Mia yelled, but the mascots closed in, overwhelming her with their frantic and ghoulish movements. Jake turned back to grab Mia, but a sharp laughter echoed, stay with us. We just want to play, the mascots jeered, their once innocent voices now filled with darkness. In a moment of desperation, Emma frantically scrambled to her feet, wrenching herself free from the grip of fear. This way, she shouted, racing toward the funhouse, recalling the bright, fun mirrors that had once made her laugh. Maybe there was a way to lose them amid the reflections. Inside, the mirrors twisted reality, reflecting distorted images of the mascots following them, their grins growing wider as they sunk into madness. Emma guided Jake and Mia through the maze, heartfelt determination replacing fear. Divide and conquer. They heard the mascots chant eerily, as their voices echoed eerily off the metallic walls. Finally, they spotted an old service door labeled, Exit, and flung it open, spilling into the cool night air beyond the park. Emma didn't stop to look back as they sprinted away, the haunting laughter fading behind them. They reached safety, collapsing in a heap outside the gates, gasping for breath. The lights of Grinny World flickered ominously, and as they looked back, the shadows seemed to pulse, the mascots growing still once more. Did that really just happen? Will whispered, and no one had the courage to reply. That night, long after they returned home, the sound of haunting giggles followed Emma to sleep.
closes her eyes, and in the darkness, the shadows seem to stretch, yearning towards her with twisted mockery. In the heart of Grinny World, among the laughing echoes, the mascots remained ever watchful, waiting for their next unsuspecting guests. For every laugh had a dark counterpart, and they knew. Genuine joy could always be disrupted by the haunting shadows of the past.